In this video, we will study about the U-square-net and then implement it in the TensorFlow framework. So hello friends, welcome to this video. This is Nikhil Tomar and you are watching Idiot Developer. Make sure to subscribe the channel and hit that bell icon for more such videos on deep learning. So our first question is what is U-square-net or you can say U2-net. It is an architecture which is specifically designed for salient object detection. Second, it is a two-level nested U-shaped architecture built using the proposed residual U-blocks. And at last, one of the main feature of that is U-square-net does not use any pre-trained backbone which makes it really light when compared with existing methods. Now next question is what is salient object detection or SOD? It is the process of segmenting the main object from the input image by producing a high quality mask. And here you can see some of the samples where you have images and the high quality mask. If you see this animal we have its hair. Okay so with this high quality mask we are able to extract the entire object along with its fine details which is really essential in multiple applications. Now what are the issues with existing method that the U-square-net has solved? So most existing method uses pre-trained backbone such as VGG, ResNet, ResNext, DenseNet and more. And these backbones are designed for image classification. So they lack the local details and global information which are really important for salient object de detection. So using a pre-trained backbone is not as a efficient as it should be and second these backbone architecture loses the essential high level details during the downsampling process in the initial layer so if you have seen any backbone uh, architecture like vgg or mostly rest net or rest, ne rest next what they do is they begin with a convolution layer with a stride of two followed by a two by two pooling so in these few initial layer they downsample the feature map by factor of 4. During these initial layer, we lose the high level information, which are really essential for the salient object detection. And due to the lack of these high level features, these existing architecture are not able to perform really good. Now, what are the main contribution of the U square net? The U square net maintain the high resolution features with low memory and computation cost. Second, the U square net is built using the residual U block which help in extracting features efficiently. The last is the U square net achieves SOTA performance on 6 data set and runs in real time with 30 FPS on 1080 Ti with a resolution of 320 by 320. Now we'll study about the main component of this architecture that is residual U block. So here you can see the block diagram taken from the original paper. So if you see it has input feature map and output feature map and if you see its entire structure it seems like a unit in itself. So you can say it's a smaller version of unit because it is inspired by the working or you can say the encoder decoder structure of the unit and the residual block so that's why it's residual u block so it's a combination of both unit and the residual learning here you can see some of the annotations where c i n means number of input channel c out refers to number of output channel m refer to intermediate channels and L refer to number of layers or you can say the height of the arc this U, U-shaped architecture. So if you see we begin with a C in and we apply initial convolution layer and the number of features became C out. From there begins our U-shaped architecture. Then again we apply a convolution based normalization ReLU. Then it is followed by a number of layers with downsampling and convolution based normalization and relu operation like this we reach the decoder part where we have upsampling convolution based normalization and relu and like this we reach the out at the end where it is followed by an commission with the initial feature map and we get the output of this restful u block so we'll use this diagram while implementation of this restful u block 
Now let's move on to the main architecture that is U square net. So if you see this is the block diagram taken from the original paper. Now first point about that is it's a two level nested unit architecture. So now I hope you are able to get it why the author says it's a two level unit. Okay. So first of all these blocks inside are seems um, to be much similar to unit. Okay. And the entire architecture if you see it's also a unit. So th that is why the author mentioned this architecture as two level nested unit architecture. And due to this feature only it gets its name U square net. Okay. And second each of these blocks okay uses the residual U block. And we'll use this diagram also during the implementation. Because if you see the encoder 5, 6 and decoder 5 they are a bit different from the rest of them because during these last block there is no downsampling or upsampling layer if you see just green feature map refer to convolution base normalization and relu because till that stays the height and width of the feature map is so small that if you downsample and upsample is you lose the essential information so th that is why at the last author does not apply downsampling and upsampling operation instead the author use dilated convolution here because here the height and width of width of the feature map is really small so it would not take that much com computation time to execute the that operations now there are two variants of the u square net first is normal u square net which achieves 30 fps and second is a u square net light version which achieve 40 fps on 1080 ti with the input shape of 320 by 320 so th that is about a short or i can say a simple introduction on the u square net now we'll implement it in the tensorflow framework